Yes. We're taking your calls for Dr. Zorba Pastor right now. If you have a question, the number to call 608-270-9933. Let's get right to the phones. We'll start with Karen in Madison. Hi, Karen. What's your question? Hi. I just finished Paxlovid yesterday, and um, I have a negative antigen test today. I'm wondering if I still have enough virus to continue to have to wear a mask around my family. Or are the symptoms likely to come back over the next couple days? Sure. Two really two questions there. So first of all, uh, five days. Day zero was the first day you either tested positive or had symptoms, and then five days after that, at that time, you're considered to be truly non-infectious unless you still have symptoms. So it's not just the Paxlovid that you take; it's also when you actually tested positive. And the negative test, very useful, but it really doesn't give us the complete answer. We can't be 100% sure. On the other hand, if you have any symptoms at all wear a mask keep people safe all right very good all right next caller betty from madison betty what's your question hi doctor um i heard that the um ba5 is so very contagious that nearly every or everyone will get it it may be not even know they have it or get any symptoms but i mean just look around how's mark feeling by the way he's he's doing great he's doing great he's back back full steam yeah yeah he, he did the, the quarantine and he feels fine so that's good to know but that's a good question is everybody good, is everybody gonna get we don't it? really know but the fact is more and more people are getting so many people who are vaccinated have gotten it so many people who are not vaccinated got it, but we know if you're vaccinated, the chances are you're just going to have sort of mild symptoms. And remember, most people who get it have no symptoms at all. Mm. I had a good friend of mine. He was a physician. He happened to go in for a gastroscopy. He had to do a pre-gastroscopy COVID test. Found out he had COVID. He had no symptoms at all. Works with patients. So wow. You never know. Okay. Let's go to Don in Sun Prairie. Hi, Don. What's your question? Uh, this is Don. Hi, Don. Go ahead. Yes, I have uh, never been tested positive for COVID, but since COVID has been out, I've had congestive heart failure twice, I have pneumonia, and I have been to the emergency room three different times for shortness of breath, dizziness, and sickness in my stomach. Now on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning, there was a fellow who had all these symptoms and said he the same thing but he was on some kind of medicine for it. Is it possible that I had COVID and I'm having after effects? Probably not. Well, first of all, you may have had COVID in the past. We don't really know. But if you've been in the hospital numerous times, you were tested for COVID. If it never showed you had COVID, then you had other medical problems that put you in the hospital. Now, could you have it in the distant past when you weren't tested? Once again, that's difficult to say. Yeah, and it's tricky because you can be positive, as you said, and, and not right, know it. Exactly. All right, let's go to Dottie in Stoughton. Hi, Dottie, what's your question? Oh, hi there. I think you may have already answered it. I was um, I'm vaccinated and double boosted, and um, I was going in for, I'm supposed to have a surgery uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow, and I did my, my COVID test. I had absolutely no t uh, symptoms, and I tested positive. Hmm. Right, right. Well, okay. it goes to show you, you may be testing positive, and you may have COVID, and you don't know you're actually having COVID. And that's why we have to test, because it's a strange virus. Mm -hmm. Most yeah. people have no symptoms at all, and that actually is the important, important point. That's why we always test people before we're actually going to be talking, bringing them into the hospital for any procedure. But if you test positive and you have no symptoms, you, you still, have still have to need to quarantine. Day zero, you bet. You have to quarantine yep. Yep. for five days, and day zero is the first day you actually tested positive. Okay. okay. Donnie, I hope you continue okay. feeling well. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Al Madison, you're up. What's your question? Al? Al, can you hear us? Hello. Hi, Hi go Al. ahead. What's your question? Yeah, I got some dark spots on my arms, a dark spot on my knee, a dark spot on my lower back. I don't know if it's, you know, whatever. I'm not sure what it is. Well, you got to go check your doctor to see exactly what it is. It definitely, some people wonder when they have spots now, do they have monkey, monkey pox? Monkey pox is from direct skin to skin contact. So unless you actually have direct skin to skin contact with somebody with monkey pox, you don't have monkey pox. And people are worried about that. Okay, but uh, go get it checked out. Yeah, that's a hard one to do over the phone. Let's go to Janet in Reeseville. Hi, Janet. What's your question? I want to know if we have to have another booster shot. We already had two mm -hmm. of the Pfizer shots back in February and March. 
Well, first of all, if you had the original two shots and you're of a certain age, then you definitely need a booster shot. And that would be the third shot that a lot of people, certainly over 65, and over some people with medical problems younger than that should also get. So, Jen, yes. Jenna, you've had when two boosters? It? You've had two booster shots or, or one? two regular shots. Yeah, see, it gets confusing. And when do I have to go get it? Uh, well, check with your doctor. Yeah. I mean, that's all. That's ultimately the answer. Right. Because right now, okay. you still, not everybody is eligible for a booster. Right. That exactly. may change if this continues. Exactly. Oh. And that's probably, my guess is, that's going to change in the fall. I think in the fall, we're going to find out that everyone needs a booster. You're going to get sure. your flu shot. You're going to get your COVID booster. And we're going to move on to try to get COVID as close to out of our, you know, system as we can. But COVID is here to stay. Mm. All right, that's all the Thank time you. we have for today. Thanks for your calls, everybody. Zorba, great to see great you. To we'll see you again next week.